Hello, hello, Sam here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm an online health and fitness coach and certified personal trainer, and I'm here to help you train smarter, eat healthier and shine brighter by providing you with accurate nutrition, fitness and weight loss information. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to stay motivated even when you don't feel motivated. If you've ever had trouble sticking to a diet or sticking with a new exercise program, you are not alone. Most of us struggle with trying to start something new. And we often ask ourselves, how do people do it? How did that person lose weight and how are they keeping it off? And we ask questions like, what exercises did they do? What foods did they eat? How did they resist their cravings? How did they resist peer pressure? And we already know the answers to most of these things. We know we need to do some cardio. We know we should probably lift some weights. Even if we don't know the specifics, we know generally how we could get started. Same with food. We know we should eat more fruits and veggies. We know we should eat more minimally processed foods. But those are still the types of questions that we're asking because what we're doing is we're hoping for a secret, a tip, a trick, a hack that these people used in order to achieve the success that they have. We're hoping there's that one little thing that we don't know about and that's going to be what turns everything around and makes it so we can be super successful without really putting in any extra effort than what we have been doing. Knowledge doesn't mean we're going to take action. Just knowing what to do doesn't mean we're actually going to do it. What is needed to take action is motivation. And when I say motivation, maybe you're thinking like the type of motivations, it's like, woohoo, can't wait to go work out or like, dude, totally stoked to eat this salad. And no, that is not the type of motivation that I'm talking about. That flashy type of motivation, if you have it, that is great but it is fleeting. That type of motivation is very emotional and it can go up and down and the levels of it and how, how it motivates you is unreliable. It's not something that you can rely on long-term because at some point it is going to go away. Now, the motivation that I am talking about is the motivation that endures, the motivation that lasts long past that like, I'm super psyched to get started phase. And this type of motivation is your why. Why are you wanting to take action? Why do you want to make these choices that might be harder? Why do you want to pursue this goal? It is really going to be like, why does this matter to you? Why is this important? And when you know that why, that is what is going to drive you to take action when taking action sucks. What this why is, is going to be completely different for every person. It could be you want to be able to keep up with your kids or you want to set a good example for your kids or you want to be healthy enough and at a healthy weight so you can have kids. Maybe you just simply want to feel better or maybe you want to look better. Maybe you want to find an amazing guy and you want to feel and look better so you have the confidence to put yourself out there and find Mr. Right. It is totally fine to have more than one reason, have more than one why, and all that matters is that it matters to you. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of your reason behind it. It just needs to matter to you, but it really does need to matter. Your why and the motivation behind your decisions is probably going to change. And that's totally normal, especially as you progress and start getting closer to that goal the motivations will probably shift and reshape and there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with it if they don't change. If you just stick with one and you're like, yeah, this is exactly why I want to be there. Like I said, it just matters that it is important to you. Knowing your why or knowing the reason you're making better choices makes it easier to make those choices. It makes it easier to choose salad over the pizza or it makes it easier to get out of bed at five in the morning when it's negative 10 degrees outside and snowing to get your workout in because there's a reason behind it. You know exactly why you're making that choice, even if in that moment you really don't want to and that choice feels like it kind of sucks. 
But when you have that reason, it gives you that purpose to make the choice and you're much more likely to make the choice future you is going to be happy with. Knowing your why and having that why and having that reason from the outside, it looks to other people like you just have amazing willpower or superhuman motivation, but really you just know why you're making the decisions that you're doing and that long-term reason is important enough for you to delay gratification and make the choices that are going to be better for you. I have people reach out to me and say they wish they had my willpower or they wish they had motivation like I do. And the thing is, I don't have crazy amounts of willpower, crazy amounts of motivation, but I do have a reason that I'm making the choices that I'm making. And people never ask me why I'm doing this. People never ask me why I get in all my workouts or why I follow my meal plan. And I feel like that's definitely missing the mark. And right now, the reason I get in all my workouts, the reason I am following my meal plan is because I want to win, plain and simple. And even when I don't feel like going to work out or when I really want to grab a Smartie to snack on, I remember I want to win and I am going to do what it takes to get me there. I am making my choices for a reason. I am getting those workouts in for a reason. I am saying no to that smarty for a reason. I'm going to encourage you, find your reason. Find your why. Even if you think it sounds all woo-woo and blah, I encourage you to do it, especially if you've been trying to lose weight, if you've been trying to change your eating habits or your exercise habits and you haven't had much success, try thinking about what is the real reason you want to do it and what what makes that important to you? Why do you even want to lose weight? Why do you want to get healthier? What makes that an important choice to you? That flippant, flashy type of motivation, you cannot count on it, but you can count on that stead fast motivation of your reason and your why. And when that moment comes, and it will, when you are tempted to make the easy choice over the better choice, think about why you started. Think about your reason for starting and remind yourself why what you decide right in that moment does matter. All right, guys. So that's it. Big thing is find your reason for wanting to make a change to make making that change easier. I hope this was helpful and do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and even share. All of it helps me out and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out peeps.